Uh, as you can see by the map to my right, uh, this uh, storm keeps moving uh, more to the east at an earlier time period. This is the latest update that we've received. This is a completely different model that we were receiving yesterday. I want to compliment the Euro model again. This is the second time that we've gotten good news from the Euro model versus the USA model, but now this is the consensus model regarding the tracking of a Hurricane Matthew. And as you see in this model, the North Carolina impact is much, much lessened. However, this does not mean we don't keep our guards up because as we've learned in the past, these models can change at a moment's notice as they have done during the past uh, 24 hours and in fact, even during the past several hours. There still is an opportunity for some serious rain of five to 10 inches in certain areas of the state and that's the last thing we need regarding some of the saturated ground that we have up and down uh, the coast, both in the southeast and in the northeastern part of North Carolina. I do want to let you know that we still have a state of emergency for 66 counties and central and eastern North Carolina remains in effect. And we are still uh, placing resources from the National Guard to the Highway Patrol, to the Red Cross, to the Salvation Army. We are also prepared to assist with evacuations in any way if someone does determine that they do need to evacuate. We want to urge still citizens, especially on the beaches, uh, to stay off the beaches when the storm comes. There are still going to be heavy winds from uh, possibly 30 to 70 miles an hour.